Welcome back everyone to another video. My name is Fabio. Today we're going to look at how you can rig an arm using envelope deformers in Toon Boom Harmony. Now, I'm not a character rigger, so I don't know the best ways to rig these characters. I kind of just do what is easiest, <laughs> what kind of works for me. So have a look, maybe it'll work for you as well. But I did notice this gives me a lot more freedom and it's very forgiving when I want to pose my arms in dynamic positions like foreshortening and things like that. So this is how I have my arms set up. I have my upper arm, lower arm, and my hand. And what I want to do is I want to add a deformer to each of these parts. Let's go up here to the deformation toolbar. If you don't see it, like go up here to the top, right click, make sure deformation is checked. What you want to do is press this little hammer and like wrench tool. So go press it and go to your tool properties. Now these are all different kinds of bones and deformers you can use, but let's click this one. This is the envelope deformer that you want. Now I can start making my deformation. What I'm going to do is kind of make like a border. So I'll click here, here, usually just the four corners will is enough. Press Alt and close it. So now we have this red line that's kind of not really following my art. So when we zoom in, we can adjust these points so you can make them follow your art a little bit better. So I find, I guess, the closer you are to the, the line art, the more control you're going to have when you deform the artwork. So try and line it up, uh, oops, try and line it up as close as you can. You don't really have to be that exact. It's kind of, it's very forgiving. So if you want to break the line, press Alt and then you can just drag one side. And I don't even need to worry about that. So now if you see, now our deformation follows our line art a lot more closely. And in our node view, it shows up right here in between the peg and the line art. What does this do? If we turn on our animate, we can drag these points and it deforms my arm. Now I'm going to go to my lower arm and do the same thing. I'll speed it up and we'll come back in a sec. So we're back, right? We clicked the four corners, we pressed Alt to close the loop, and we adjusted these curves. So see, when you adjust, Animate is turned off, and these are red. If you turn Animate on, they're green, which means they're animating now. So, we have our deformers made, but where are they? How do we animate with them? What you want to do is click where you have the deformation, so our arms, and you want to choose this button here, show selected deformers and hide others. Boom. So now you can grab these and edit them. So what I like to do with these kinds of deformers is to have a drawing layer above everything. So say I want like a dynamic, I don't know, his arm is here and his hand is something like this. So now what I can do, I have my guide. I can start posing my character to follow this, right? So now when I use my deformers, I can deform them, oops, I can deform them to the foreshortened like pose that I have. So this way you can get some really nice dynamic poses and it's like very free to be honest. Like you can pretty much draw whatever you want and just kind of adjust your stuff afterwards, whatever, that hand. Ooh, I don't like that hand. So now if we hide our drawing layer, we have a bent arm, right? So it does take kind of a long time, but you can get very nice poses. And of course, you, if this was a real production, you would spend more time making sure all these lines 
meet up and they don't break. One last thing, I want to go through a few things to keep an eye out for. So for example, say I have a character here and I accidentally press this button. See how everything gets messed up like that? Don't worry, just press your animate button again and everything's back to normal. Another thing, all these points are stored inside this deformation thing. So all these points, they're called curves. If you delete one, a point gets deleted, right? So that if that's where all the points are. You have to be on the drawing layer to actually start deforming things. If you accidentally make points that you don't want, just undo, control Z, or you can head right in here and actually delete the point. So that's all I have for deformers, guys. This should give you enough to start, you know, deforming your own characters and having some fun there. We rigged the arm. You can also rig the leg, the torso, the face with these envelope deformers. I would recommend being careful though, because they can make your characters very like heavy in terms of like loading them into Toon Boom. So kind of just deform only what you need. If you have any questions or I missed something or even you have a you want to comment a better way to do this comment below and I'd love to hear from you guys so get out there experiment have some fun that's what this is all about and I'll see everyone in the next video thanks for watching